Jennifer Priest here with a fun video using these new sticky sticks. So you can use them to make plant sticks, crafts, signs, fans, all kinds of fun little things. I really wish I had this at some of those summer craft fairs that I've done where it's really hot. I could have made signs for my business or little hippos on here and let people use it as a fan. But what I'm gonna make today are a couple different kinds of plant steaks. These sticky sticks, they come with a sticky adhesive on one side and then the rest of it is wood. So the first thing I wanna do is color. Oh, my I have sticks. a color catcher here from Clear Snap. And this is basically like a spray booth that you can fold up and put it in your crop bag. But then when you unfold it and put it together, it turns into a little booth for you to spray your project. This way, probably can't hear me, but when you spray your projects with this, in this, it protects your work surface. So I like to use this for spray ink, painting, glitter, anything that's messy that I don't wanna get on my work surface. So now that my color catcher is all set up, I'm gonna lay a few sticky sticks inside. And I'm going to spray them with spray So I have this ink. really pretty blue color here called Splash. And I'm just gonna spray them on each side. So I'll turn it over. And what I love about using smooch spritz on wood is that that wood grain still shows through, but you get the color. So instead of like with acrylic paint, which is very opaque, with this, you still get that pretty wood texture. Barely. Okay, so I have these three elements punched out. Oh, that's kind of fun too. And out of coordinating paper, I am going to punch a scallop circle. So what I like about this is that you just kind of pinch it and you have a cute little handle on the back to hold the ink pad. I don't know if you can see that cute little handle. And it's kind of easier to maneuver. So I'm just going to ink the edges of this little guy up. Now I'm going to use my trusty little Xyron glue stick here to put this all together. And I like this glue stick because it has a point on one side and it's round on the other side. So it's great for doing round things, but it's also great for doing things with corners. So add him in the middle there, and then so that will go, those will go in the center like that. And then I'm going to punch three of one more color of paper. I guess we'll do this guy. that little pop of black. This paper is really interesting because it's like totally different, different papers. And you can make these for parties, like you can use these as party favors or do like a place setting with them. Uh, make these into like a fan or just have it be something pretty in your house. Oh, I think I'll use this side of this one. So I can peel this little end off the stick and that's going to reveal the super sticky adhesive side. And then I can put this little guy on here. So I just have some seam binding here and I'm going to double it over to make a little bow. I like to fold these like messy bows because they look kind of old and shabby chic and kind of fun. 
And then again, kind of mess with the edges here to make it look tattered. And for this guy, I'm just going to use, whoops, a little bit of hot glue to adhere him in place. And so this is a really cute little decoration that you can put like on, into a little plant pot or with a little gift like in a candle, etc. Now, to kick it up a little bit more to make it a little bigger, kind of like a fan, you can add a rosette. So we're going to take some 12 by 12 paper and I am going to cut some strips. So I'm going to cut some three inch strips out of some paper here. Now to make this really nice and sturdy, I am going to run it through my Xyron machine. So I have the home creation station here and I really like this because you can do big projects all at once. And I'm gonna go ahead and run my two little circles through here as well. So once I have them started, I'll just start rolling the handle and feed my elements through. And keep running my goodies through. Now on the back here, there's a handy dandy little cutter. So I'm just gonna press that down and go ahead and cut this off. So now I've made stickers out of these elements. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is stick these two pieces of paper together. And the reason I'm using two papers back to back is this is going to give this a lot of stability and using the Xyron to glue it together is going to make it be very sturdy. So I'm just going to fold this at intervals. These are about half an inch and you can use a bone folder for this too. I'm just folding it by hand. Let's see. I'm using hot glue because I want something that is not going to flex or move. And hot glue is hard when dry. And then you're gonna take the other two ends and adhere those together as well. You can use your sticky stick to kind of help press this together without burning your fingers. And then the hot glue will just peel right off of that stick. And these are nice. They don't have splinters. They're not, you know, they're very nicely sanded. It's pretty cool. It's not like using like, you know, an old popsicle stick. All right, now that I have this cylinder form, I'm gonna gather it at the top and then press down and that is going to form my rosette. So I'm gonna take off the end of one of my sticky sticks. Again, these are one of the ones that I did with my smooch spritz. And I'm going to stick it right below the center on that fan that I've basically created. Now I'm going to add my elements to each side. See here, I'm gonna add this cute little rose. Hmm, how do I want them to go? And then on the other side, I'm going to add my bumblebee. And this sandwiching the fan between these two guys 
between these two little circle elements is going to make it sturdy so that you could actually fan yourself with it. So this is a great little favor for a party or you know you can put it as a place marker with somebody's name and then they can use that you know as a cute little fan souvenir. And the last little thing I'm going to show you is a cute way to make some little plant pot uh, <clears throat> markers. So like I said this little guy could be a plant pot marker um, if you just stuck, stuck it in there as a cute little decoration. But I actually want to make functional ones that have the name. So a few weeks back Xaver planted some, or not a few weeks, probably last week, he planted some herb seeds in little pots in our kitchen. And this was his idea of how to make a cute sign. Like that is not cute. So before I apply this I'm going to go ahead and add my little stickers for the word mint. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my stick and you can either use an unpainted stick or you can paint it or you can just use the spray ink and stick it to the back of one of my little plant signs. And these are just those little 3x4 blocks, like a lot of paper comes printed with 3x4 blocks. You can cut that up and use this as plant signs. Now I'm going to peel off the sticker that I made out of one of those. And again, sandwich the sticky stick inside because I want this to stay strong. Now, another alternative is before you do this sandwiching, you can laminate these if you're going to put it outside so that uh, it stays protected and you can use them year after year. And for that, you'd probably want to go ahead and paint your stick or maybe seal it with a clear uh, sealer. So now this looks a lot cuter and I can actually put this in my kitchen and not be embarrassed to have like masking tape labels on it. So thanks for joining me today. I hope that these fun projects have inspired you to create something with sticky sticks. Here is what the packaging looks like. So there you have it. Thanks so much and I will see you again soon.